the plaintiff is Larry Mishu from uh, a 50-year veteran of news anchoring. He is suing 50-year-old Mikey Brizadon for the cost of his 1957 Hoover convertible. The defendant says, though, that the plaintiff is lying about the theft. All parties, please raise your right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you, God? All rise. The court is now in session with the Honorable Misho Larry, judge presiding. Please be seated and come to order. Your Honor, this is the matter of Proctor versus Brizendine, case number 837. Thank you, Madam Holly. The plaintiff in this case is alleging the defendant stole a 1957 pink Hoover convertible upright vacuum cleaner. Tell me about it. Okay. And do you have a picture, a set picture of this particular vacuum cleaner? All right. Well, then do you have a receipt? I like to take a good look at it. Thank you, Miss Holly. Mm, reasonable, reasonable. Um, now, um, uh, Mr. Brizendine, I'll give you a chance to state your counterclaim, but right now the plaintiff has the burden of proof. Listen to me. The plaintiff has burden of proof. I don't care if you didn't take the vacuum. You're going to give it back. What's your witness? Is, is your witness's name Ivan? Not interested, Ivan. Not interested. Not interested. Not interested. Ivan. Ivan. Ivan, listen to me. Your brother in law stole it. Oh, really? Who told you that he stole that car he drives? You got proof? All right, let's, let's call up your witness. Uh, what police department do you work for? City or county? All right. Um, so explain to me um, what um, this whole theft about the car is, even though, even though the court case specifically states about the vacuum cleaner. But I just want to humor myself for a few minutes before I go and have lunch. All right, you may sit down. Thank you, sir. You see what happens, Mr. Brizendine, when you don't believe in the Castos? Judgment for the plaintiff in this case. In the um, Now, I know it was your deceased grandmother's vacuum, and even though you can't buy that particular one anymore... I am going to award the maximum that this show will allow, and I am going to award you $20,000. So that is judgment for the plaintiff in this case, Mr. Mishu, in the amount of $20,000. The counterclaim is dismissed. Good luck to you both.